Hello students. Hope you all are fine and keeping up with your studies nowadays. Today we are going to learn the fifth chapter of our this year's PT syllabus that is titled as pollution. Let us start with the meaning of pollution. Pollution means impurity. Deterioration or spoiling of anything would mean its pollution. Earth, water, fire, air and sky are five useful elements of life. All these elements have made human life possible. The element of sky exists very high, while there is a rare possibility for fire to be polluted. In our age of competition for progress, man has polluted earth, water and air. When any element is spoiled, beyond a limit and becomes dangerous for human existence, it is said to be polluted. The environment around us has become harmful for human existence because of pollution of earth, water and air. Mainly, there are four kinds of pollution that have become dangerous for men. Soil pollution, water pollution, air pollution and noise pollution. Now, we will discuss about different kinds of pollution in detail and to start with is soil pollution. Earth means land or soil, the rubbish thrown on earth, dead bodies of animals, dampness, stagnant air, decomposition, etc. made the soil polluted. Chemical insecticides used today for agriculture are poisonous. Overpopulation, mechanization of industries, tall buildings, the sunshine blocking dense localities, etc. make the land and cities more polluted than in the villages. Wars between nations and the emanation used in these wars, deadly diseases like plague, droughts, etc. add to this pollution. Rats, fleas, mosquitoes, and poisonous insects become agents of epidemic diseases. The next is water pollution. Water element is necessary for life. Excessive rainfall, flood, stagnant water, open gutters for drainage of dirty water, mud, mud putrefaction, etc. spread dangerous pollution of water. The next one is air pollution. We have got air around us. Air is a subtle and live element of life. There are many possibilities of having air pollution. It is quick and much dangerous. Rotting of animals, dirty mud, stagnant open space of dirty water, atoms in air, smokes from chimneys, warships, railways, Colors, chemicals, poisonous gases, etc. cause pollution of air. Pollution of air gives rise to diseases of lungs, throat, nose, nervous system and diseases of heart, etc. The last one is noise pollution. Noise pollution is in a way related to the pollution of air due to the industrial revolution Many factories have been established. There, the noise is created by machines has created many problems. Loud radio sets, tape recorders, television, etc. prove to be a nuisance and produce noise pollution. Constant noise near the bus stations, railway stations or aerodromes is becoming hazardous. Unwanted sound causes deafness it makes one's nature irritable. Man becomes a victim of insomnia and chronic headache. Sometimes excessive noise causes mental disorders also. Let us learn about some useful herbs. So the first one that will be discussed is neem. Neem is a tall tree of about 25 to 30 feet height. The foliage of neem provides a stay a shade in summer. Its leaves have a bitter taste. Its fruit is called limbori. It is very useful in skin diseases. The juice of tender leaves of neem tree or its flowers are taken as drink. 
Drinking neem juice daily cures many skin diseases. In addition to this, the patient of skin diseases should take bath with neem leaves boiled in water. This protects us from many skin diseases. It cures us of malaria. It kills the worms in the stomach. It purifies the air too. The next one is Tulsi or Basil. Tulsi is a plant growing in our courtyard. It is considered to be holy. Leaves are very useful in many diseases. Tulsi leaves cure cold, cough and diseases to the lungs. If we chew 5 leaves of Tulsi regularly, we will never complain of cold, cough, fever, etc. There is a special type of fragrance in leaves of Tulsi and it purifies the air. The next one is Arduci. Wasaka is a plant. It is found at many places in villages. The leaves of this plant remain green throughout the year. Its leaves are long. White flowers blossom on it. Its leaves cure cold, cough, TB, etc. Throat bleeding is cured by Arduci. The juice of this plant can be taken or the leaves may be chewed. The next one is Kanaji or Ponigamia. Generally, in the villages, on the both sides of the roads, big Ponigamia trees are found. The leaves of this tree are bright. The oil is extracted from its seeds. This oil is used in the treatment of ailments and skin diseases. It is used for making soap too. The twigs of this tree are used as country brushes. The taste of the twig is pungent. Those who use this brush have clean, healthy and strong teeth and gums. Many diseases of teeth are cured by using this country brush. Next we have saragu or drumsticks. The drumstick tree is 15 to 30 feet tall. Generally, this tree is found everywhere. Its leaves are small. The drumsticks are thick as our fingers. Each stick is about one and a half feet long. It has nine edges. The drumsticks are green. We also use them as vegetables. Its pieces are cooked with dal. As vegetable, the drumsticks have a good taste. It is also used as medicine for the treatment of swelling and gas and also it cures some diseases of liver and spleen. It is beneficial for the eyes too. The juice of drumstick leaves cures the diseases of respiration and hiccup. The last one is bail tree or billy. Bail tree is as tall as drumstick tree. Like basil or tulsi, it is believed to be holy. The leaves of bail are in the bunch of three. The bale fruit is used as medicine. It is also known as bilu. The raw and ripe fruits of bale are useful. The fruits of bale can, can cure diarrhea. It is used as an appetizer. Drink and pickles are also made from the ripe fruits of bilu. The fruit also cures dysentery. So, you will come to the end of this chapter. Thank you. Stay safe and keep learning.